I'm Dr. Ron Siegel. I'm a clinical psychologist. I've been on the faculty here at Harvard Medical School for many years. And uh, along with my colleagues, I've been very active for the last maybe 20, 25 years in the integration of mindfulness and compassion practices in psychotherapy. We've written quite a few books on the topic and I've had the opportunity to uh, teach worldwide around it. And in fact, we have here a Center for Mindfulness and Compassion at Harvard Medical School where we're doing research, training, and uh, doing clinical programs. I'm gonna talk about mindfulness and compassion as tools for working with trauma and and also their relationship to attachment. Because we, we know from a lot of research studies that two different people can go through a similar difficult situation in let's say combat or something that happens in police or firework. And one of them will come out with PTSD and the other one will come out with some bad memories, but otherwise being just fine. And a huge variable in determining what will happen to somebody is their attachment history. One of the really exciting things in the field of mindfulness and compassion work is that we're, we're discovering that mindfulness and particularly compassion and self-compassion skills can actually create some of the benefits that normally come from secure attachment, even if somebody didn't have that in childhood. So we'll be talking about how to do that. I think it's important because we're increasingly realizing that trauma is at the heart of so many difficulties that we see in our clients or patients, that trauma lies behind uh, chronic depression, trauma lies behind uh, substance use disorders, trauma lies behind anxiety disorders, and understanding the mechanisms of trauma, and you've got a wonderful lineup of presenters who are real experts in this field, understanding it and really understanding what are the interventions that help to heal trauma is essential, not just for people who have clearly experienced particularly horrible things in their lives, but they're important for treating everybody that we work with. 